another weekly vlog. It is now week six of term, meaning we are over halfway through the whole semester. I don't know how it's going so quickly because it genuinely feels like I've just started, not like I should be submitting my first assignment next week. The assignment that's due is for my discovery module and the reason that it's due so early in the term is because it's 20 credits in one semester. So I'll have an assignment due next week and then I'll also have another assignment due in January for it. But the reason that I chose to structure my modules that way is so I have less credits next semester so hopefully I have more time to work on my dissertation. Talking of dissertations I've actually now been allocated my supervisor and I'm meeting them on Wednesday this week for the first time so shit's getting very real with my dissertation. However, I feel a bit lost with it still. So I need to work on my literature search and literature review this week because the topic that I am trying to do my dissertation on is one that I haven't really properly studied ever. It's sort of a mash of different things that I've studied and I'm merging them together into one topic to talk about. But that means that there's a lot of kind of specific terminology and specific theories that I don't actually know about. So I'm gonna start that today actually. I think I'm gonna head to the library this morning so I can have some serious focus time. And as well as my dis research that I need to do this morning, I'm also going to do my social media strategy for my social media module. This is such a funny module because I'm essentially trying to grow my own TikTok profile for the purpose of my module. So I'm trying to be a lot more active over on TikTok. I'm posting kind of mini uni days in the life over there when I'm not weekly vlogging. So make sure to go and give it a follow because you'll also be supporting my uni work if you do so. But I need to finish getting ready. I've got a bit of a greasy hair day. So I need to work out what I'm gonna do with this. And then I'm gonna head off to uni.
Good morning, it is Tuesday today. I don't have any contact hours again today. I've got barely any contact hours the whole week. I think I've only got four and a half this week. I don't know why I've got so few, but I'm going into uni anyway, because of course I've got lots to do. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday or not, but the reason that I haven't started writing my assignment yet and it's due next week is because I'm still waiting for feedback on an essay plan that I submitted. So I'm really hoping that that gets back to me today and I can actually start working on that essay today. But if not, my plan is to just catch up on my weekly reading because I haven't done the reading for last week yet. And I feel like it's really easy when focusing on my diss and focusing on assignments to completely forget about that kind of like everyday day uni stuff and that's what makes me feel behind and stressed if I'm not also keeping on top of that. I had a super productive day yesterday though, I was really quite proud of myself. I made quite a good start on my literature review. I wasn't really reading that much as such, I was kind of just skim reading articles and creating a kind of web of understanding I guess on the literature. I'm going to talk a little bit about how I did it so if you're not doing your disc right now and you're not interested then I'll put a timestamp on screen so you can just skip past this part. I've also just realised that my mug perfectly matches my jumper so that's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, literature review, or at least the initial literature search. So there's about five or six subsections at the moment to my disc that I'm hoping to cut down because I feel like that's a lot of different areas that I need to research and do a literature review for. But I started out with my first subsection yesterday that I know is definitely gonna be included. And this is one of the things that I haven't really studied before. So I essentially started my search by tracing the concept back to its core. So it's a sociological concept that also applies to consumer behaviour. So I just wanted to know who came up with it. And then once I found that out, I could kind of trace backwards, I guess, or forwards. So then I found out who built on that concept and who built on that concept and kind of the timeline of how it got to where where it is today and it's used in marketing today. And another thing I did was Google the top academics for that subject. And once I'd kind of found out who the top journal papers were by, it kind of all started to unfold because once you're in, everyone cites one another and you start to see these kind of recurring patterns in the citations and you can build up a web of who said what basically. <laughs> so that's what I did. I hope that makes sense. Hopefully that's useful. This clip is already four minutes long, so I don't want to go on about it too much. But I can probably do a video about this kind of thing another time if that's of interest. I do just want to quickly point out though that obviously this is my first time doing a literature review of this scale. So this could be completely the wrong way of doing it. I will double check with my supervisor on Wednesday if what I'm doing is correct and let you know. So for now, just take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt. I don't want to ruin everyone's diss. <laughs> anyway, I will see you at uni. <laughs>
Mm. Is this what the recipe says to do? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I can clear the sound now. <laughs> God, that spider looks terrifying in the background of my vlog, but it's not in focus. Good night. I am so tired. Good morning. Today I thought I would do my little intro while I'm doing my makeup because I have a new foundation that I want to try and I'm so fascinated by this brand and essentially they're supposed to match your skin to a foundation by an online quiz and it's supposed to be like the perfect match. However, the first foundation that they sent me, which was this one, I tried in my day in the life TikTok last week and it was way too orange. So they sent me another one for free and I thought I'd try it. This isn't an ad by the way, this is sounding like an ad, but I am just always on the hunt for the perfect foundation shade. It is something that I've never quite mastered and I'm always just slightly off and this bottle does look promising hopefully today is going to be a bit more of an interesting day for the vlog as well because i feel like so far this video has probably been very repetitive it's been very productive on my end but i have just spent the last two days sat in one place okay this is matching i think but i don't know if it's a bit pale. I think I'm just in denial about how pale my skin is. <laughs> Today I've got a seminar at 11, a lecture then at 12 till half one, and then I'm meeting my disc supervisor for the first time at three this afternoon. Although, I mean, I'm not actually really meeting them because our meeting's on Teams. Although I have technically met them before because they were one of my lecturers in first year, but I'm kind of nervous for the meeting. I don't know why. And then at five, I've got yoga again. Okay, I've done the rest of my makeup now and I do actually quite like the way that this has turned out. All the other makeup products that I used are exactly the same ones that I usually use. Apart from my eyebrow gel, I actually also tried their eyebrow gel because my NYX one is finally at the end of its life. And I really like it, probably even more than the next one. I forgot to mention before, but yesterday I did all of my reading that I needed to catch up on for last week. And I also received my essay plan feedback. So today I am all set up to start writing my assignment for next week. So I'm gonna head to the library this morning so I can get a few focus hours in before my seminars and my lectures and everything, because I've got a very bitty day today, as you can probably tell when I reeled off my schedule. So I don't have tons of time in between everything to properly get stuck into my essay, but I'm at least going to fully sort out my essay plan today and integrate the feedback that they gave to me and also integrate some more reading that I've done since then about the subject. first meeting with my dis supervisor and now I'm back to square one because she pulled up some very good questions <laughs> about my idea and now I've just noticed some massive gaps in what I'm trying to research and some massive gaps in my understanding so it's essentially back to the drawing board now I've rewritten my concept about four times since the meeting and and now I'm more confused than ever, but I'm gonna head off to yoga in about 10 minutes and hopefully that will de-stress me a bit.
Wednesday today and today I've got a 9am lecture and then after that and between my yoga class at 4 I've got a 6 hour slot where I really want to make a good start on my essay. I started writing it yesterday and I've done the introduction and half of the first paragraph but then I got a little bit derailed after my dis meeting and didn't do any after that. So hopefully I can get a good chunk of it done today because it is due Wednesday next week so I don't really have a choice I do just need to get on with it so it's probably going to be quite a boring montage for you today but hopefully a productive day for me Friday evening and I have not filmed anything today because it's just felt like a bit of a manic day. I've been running around trying to balance too many things at once and there just didn't feel like a logical point at which I could start filming. I've mostly just been editing this vlog today but I also had a lecture in the afternoon so I've been on campus editing as well and it's taken me a while because this vlog is long. I clearly just had a lot to say so I don't think I'm going to cut anything out but if you have got to this far then please let me know what you think to the longer length. I'm going to end it here though so I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow my other social medias especially my TikTok for more uni and student content and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!